welcome back to my channel. I look kind of bold today, but that's because I'm rocking the pony. Because I'm not rocking it very well because I look bold, but it's the look I'm going for. So today I'm going to be doing this look. This um, It's another one in my series of fall inspired looks. It's definitely another different one with more of a brown toned lip because I know a lot of people like to wear those brown tones instead of wearing those red plum sort of darkish tones. So this look is so super simple, perfect for hooded eyes. I'm wearing false lashes, but you definitely don't need to if you want to make it more wearable for your everyday look. Literally, the eyeshadow is the easiest two second thing ever just to add a little bit of depth to your eyes, but it's really all about the lips in this look. And I've also added a bit more of a bronzed contour and a highlight. Anyone can pull it off and look very smoldering and very fallish, fallish, very fallish. So I really hope you guys enjoy this look. I'm sorry if the lighting goes a bit funny throughout the video, but the sun was making my shit do weird things. And that's just life, I suppose. If you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe to this video and also subscribe to this video. <laughs> subscribe to my channel, click that button down below. I don't know which side it's on, which side it's on. If you haven't already, make sure you go and enter my 5,000 subscriber giveaway. I'll have that one linked down below. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you want to see more hooded eye videos. I think this is so perfect, so simple, and so easy for us with hooded eyes. And it really just makes it look a little bit more interesting than just having plain eyes. So if you'd like to see how I get to this look, please keep watching. As always, there is plenty of work to do here. Oh. Of course I'm starting with priming my face with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. It gives a really nice great matte base and that's what I'm really looking for today. And then I'm going to get a luminous um, base using my Stila HD Illuminating Balm with SPF. Just um, buffing that into my skin using the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush. And as you can see I'm devastated because I got a hole in it and now it leaks everywhere. And then I'm just going to finish setting it with a sponge. Next using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour matte foundation in creamy beige blending it in with a damp sponge as usual because this is a great coverage foundation and I find that matte foundations are perfect for those fall looks then I'm going to go ahead and use the small contour brush and MAC medium dark to set my eyes followed by doing dem brows and I'm going to be doing my brows with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in soft brown. I will be doing the tail end of my brows in soft brown. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the MAC Lingering Brow Pencil. Then using the Stila Soul Palette and this shimmery light shade, I'm going to apply it to my brow bone. I'm pointing at the wrong one, but whatever. I'm going to use this angled brush and just applying it lightly under my brow bone. Just to get that brow bone highlight going, guys. Then using this small rounder brush and this grey shade you can see here, I'm trying to really achieve this cool tone look with this grey shade. I'm applying it just slightly above the hood of my eye into the crease, bring it strongly into the outer corner of my eye and then I'm going to go ahead and use the Sigma tapered blending brush which I always use to blend the color out I'm really going to focus on it blending it blending it blending it and diffusing the color all over my eyelid and this is on both eyes of course then I'm going to use this caramel brown shade from the same Sigma palette just to dust over my entire eyelid as you can see I'm just really trying to diffuse the color but not warm it up too much because I really want to enhance the cool look then I'm going to curl my lashes and then I'm going to go ahead and apply mascara using the Smashbox full exposure mascara and then you can leave them just like that because it looks just as good but I'm going to apply my Cara 42 lashes from Shop Miss A and then I'm going to cover the lash glue because as you can see the lash glue I have dries white and it is not a good look guys. I'm going to cover color my lash line using the BH Cosmetic Liquid Liner Pen. It works perfectly to cover this liner. For my waterline I'm going to go ahead and use my Rimmel In The Nude Liner just to really brighten up my eyes. And then for my under eye, I'm using none other than the Maybelline Better Skin in 02 Light. As you can see, I'm applying it with my finger to really create a sharp line. As you can see, really sharpening that line. Instead of using tape or anything like that, I'm just going to create it with my concealer. And of course, blending it in with my damp blending sponge. I am also putting this on the tip of my nose and my forehead and blending in. Duh. 
Seriously, do you guys need to know why? I think you know why. To set under my eyes and also on my forehead, I'm using the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Powder and this flat white sponge. You know the drill. I've done this a lot to bake. I'm going to apply this, obviously, as I said, under my eyes and on my forehead, packing that colour on as much as possible. While I bake, I'm going to do my lips. And today, I'm actually using this colour. It's called color theory and it's just a brown eye pencil because I didn't have a lip liner and that was the closest color and just YOLO bring the color and shading it onto my lips to accentuate them and then after I have sort of colored in my lips a little bit I'm using the Rimmel moisture renew lipstick in Camden Brown 780 this is definitely lighter than the liner that I actually have as you can clearly tell and I do blend it in quite a lot and it is a very sheer sort of creamy lipstick once I'm finished with baking, I'm going to use the Face of Australia Mineral Therapy Foundation Loose Powder in Natural Beige to dust off the powder to get that flawless, flawless face we are after. Then I'm using MAC Medium Dark Mineralized Skin Finish really briefly and really quickly over the rest of my face just to sort of give a bit of colour and so it's not super white. For an all over glow, I'm combining all three shades in the Hourglass Ambient Lining Palette and applying this with the same fluffy brush over my entire face. It gives an amazing flawless all over glow. For bronzing and just general contouring today, I'm using an old favourite, the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. This is a perfect matte bronzer to contour and frame my face. As you can see, I'm going over it lightly with a brush and then using my small contour to carve out my cheeks a little bit more and my nose just slightly. For a highlight, I'm sticking with the bronze seam and using MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Global Glow and applying with the Sigma Concealer Brush, taking a page from Anrizi's book and applying a lot of highlight, really building it up over and over and over again over the cheekbones and into the temple and brow bone. And oh, note to self, it's not really that good to use on the tip of my nose. And of course, here you have it. This is the finished look. The I seriously don't even know why I film outro sometimes. I really hope you guys enjoyed this look, found it super, super easy to do, and that you guys want to create, recreate it yourself. Can't even talk today. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, as I mentioned at the start. Please give me any suggestions of videos that you would like to see me do. So I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you all very, very, very soon. Bye.